Hey guys, so I'm in the Trailblazer and um, I just want to do a little tip for uh, your heater. So to make your, your heater heat up faster, uh, as you can see like uh, my gauge right here, it has the 100 and 210 and 260. Usually on most vehicles, um, even if you don't have a, a number there, the first line is about 100 degrees. Um, so what I do, and it actually it makes it heat up a little bit quicker, um, is you leave the fan off, just leave it on the lowest setting or, or if it's, it has an off setting. And then what happens is it actually heats up quicker because you're not um, pulling hot air from it. So it's actually keeping the heat in, in the heater core and stuff. So then what I normally do is I wait until the line is at 100 um, on most of the cars that I own. Um, and then, or I've ever owned, I should say. Um, and then I do have this one in here um, and also have one in the red Monte Carlo so I know exactly what the temperature is um, This gauge is a little off uh, When it reads 210 this is reading like 198 to 200 and this is more accurate. This is just kind of a dummy gauge just close <coughs> uh, Excuse me, so That's what I do um, And then once it hits a hundred or if you feel a hundred is still too cool Wait for it to be like 110 120 130 and then turn your fan on and you can turn your fan on higher because you're going to have instant warm air. Um, and that also keeps it so, I don't know if you ever like, you know, you turn on your, um, it's different with defrost because defrost you kind of have to use it. But you know how like a lot of times like you use the air when it's still cold, like the engine is still cold so the coolant's not cold, uh, warm yet, uh, warmed up yet. So then you get cold air coming through and then you're getting blasted with cold air when you're already cold. So um, that's this little tip to keep uh, get your heater heated up quicker. You can start driving too. Um, of course, when you drive, you'll be warming up the engine because it's, it's working harder. The other thing you can do is instead of putting it in drive, so instead of doing drive like this, um, what you can do is if you're on slower roads, like for instance, around my, my house is 25 miles an hour, um, and then it goes up to 35. So when it's in 25 miles an hour, I keep it in second gear. Um, so it'll just use first and second and then um, that keeps your RPMs a little bit higher so this stage will be higher and the more revolutions per minute which is what the RPM means if you didn't know um, the higher the friction and also means that it heats up faster so when you use when you get in the higher RPMs it'll heat up faster so um, and then when I go to the 35 mile an hour zone I go to third because that'll keep the RPMs from going too high. But um, even though in second gear is still fine, but I don't want to be, you know, revving too high. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's what I do. And that will help warm up your engine a lot faster. Just beware that technically that is more wear and tear on the engine, even though it's not really that. I mean, you're running at 3,000 RPMs instead of 1,500, which is double the uh, movement for the pistons. So. Uh, if you go with like long oil change intervals, I mean that could affect it. I've never noticed it too, but I'm not saying it won't. So, but that's what I do. Um, but that helps warm up your your engine faster, and then you you can have your heat faster. So, so for instance, right right now, if I turn on my heat, it's gonna be nice warm air because it's 164 uh, degrees. So, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, I also I am not a mechanic. I just I'm kind of throwing out tips and stuff. I live in a somewhat, uh, when it's winter time, it's a cold climate. So I live in Ohio. So, um, and right now I'm actually in Pennsylvania. I work in Pennsylvania. So, uh, so yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below and please like and subscribe. I will have another tip video here, not too, uh, not too long from now that will have to do with winter time also. So, so, uh, keep an eye out for that. All right. Thanks for watching.